Hey y'all, I am back at the Bantons. I feel like it has been forever. Don't worry, this is a brand new video. Let's go in, let's go treasure hunting, let's go see what we can find. I honestly can't remember the last time I was here, so everything that I see should be new. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to find some good stuff today. What are these? <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Please have, don't have any major chips. Okay, we are definitely getting this. Y'all know I love it when it's all stained with all this crazing. That's beautiful. Ooh, ooh, love this one too. No chips on it. What's the barn rule? All right, you gotta stand behind the yellow line, this line, and then I think at all the bins there's lines as well. You gotta follow the rules, guys. Make sure you follow the rules at the bins, and sometimes there's some unspoken rules <laughs> that you have to follow as well. Call this glassware right here. They've taken out the bins. They're about to roll some new ones back in. Okay, I found a whole tote full of Christmas ornaments. They have some of these with like some fabric appliques. I don't know, not really interested in those. Here's some with some pom-poms, but look at these, the little crocheted ones. Some of them do have some staining, but I feel like that's that's okay. Um, they have white ones. Oh, I don't know about that one. Let's see, I don't like the stuff on top, but they had some plain ones. I wonder if I could remove that. Look at these. I like these. The white and the pink ones. Those are really cute. So I might have to dig through this and see. I wonder if I could remove that top because like look at these all together. The pink and the white and then this one. I think that's really pretty. Really shabby chic. Ooh, look. Here's like a cream colored one right here. These are cute. Here's some more like little fabric ones. I don't know. I'm going to look through this bin and see what I can find. Look at this piece. How precious. This little pink bowl with a bunny hanging off of it. It's a Hallmark piece. I mean, I can't leave this behind. Oh, these are ornaments I decided to get. I decided to just stick with the ones that I like. So I have some pink ones, some cream ones, some white ones with a little crochet. I think they are adorable. What is this? A little teapot. Strawberry Street. Actually, I'm going to get this for myself because I have a shelf that I actually got from over here that I want to put up and put a bunch of... Um, white dishes and little teapots and stuff like that on it. Look at these little statues. This one does have a chip right here, but I think with some antiquing wax, I could kind of blend it in. But look at their little faces. Does this one not remind y'all of Ren? Oh my gosh. Looks oh, just like her. Oh, these are so cute. I'm definitely gonna get both of these. Here's a ball mason jar. Oh my gosh. Do y'all see all the bubbles and imperfections in this one? Wow, this is definitely an older piece. I can't believe they're just up here sitting. Here's a plate. Not really interested in that. Maybe I should maybe I should hold on to this. Somebody could come behind me and scoop it up. Alright, I don't see anything else. Put this in my cart. Found one more thing on the wall. Here is a little Ray Dunn tea set. It says Studio by Magenta. I don't pick up that much Ray Dunn, but this one's really big and I love, love, love the color of it. So I'm gonna get it. I like the handle too. It's pretty unique. Look, this cute little chair they have out. This is $3, y'all, $3. I'm gonna have to walk away. I do not need any more chairs. Let's see what else they have. Sofas, here's some more chairs right here. These are $3 as well. It's just like an old kid's plastic furniture. Ooh, that actually like opens really good. Look, it's Fisher Price. 
Here's a tarnished silver tray. I never see these. I think I have a cloche at home that would fit this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, bring it home and see if I can find something to fit that. Ooh, this bag is cute. Airy. Look how adorable that pattern is. I'm gonna get it, because then I can put all of my finds today in there. You can never have enough of those types of bags. Oh, is this a cloche? Oh no, it's a big cup. I thought it was a cloche. Been rolling out new bins, but it's been all clothing. I haven't find, found anything else of the stuff that we like, but I have found a good bit of clothing. So I figured I'd show y'all what I found. Look at these little Ugg boots. They are in me and my daughter's size, so we could definitely share them. Here's some little Nike dry fit pants. I figured either for my son or my husband. We'll see who wants those. Look at these, how fun. They're little swimming shorts. I thought Brandon might like them. Um, so I'll bring them home and see what he says. Everything's really cheap here. So if my kids don't want them, I just, you know, redonate them. Here's some super soft little airy sweat shorts. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to have to hide them for Ryan because she's going to try to steal them. But I think they're so cute just to wear around the house. So those are for me. Here's a little shirt for Ryan. Sometimes she wears this stuff, sometimes she doesn't. I don't know. But like I said, everything's so cheap here. We'll see. Uh, this is for Waylon, a little Under Armour sweatshirt. I don't know about y'all, but my kids wear sweatshirts pretty much every day. It doesn't matter <laughs> how hot it is outside. This is just a long sleeve tee. It looks like it's never been worn or washed. It feels brand new. This is the kind of stuff Ryan likes to wear as well. Here is an old Miss Hottie Toddy shirt. It still has the tags on it right here. And this is for Ryan. This is where she wants to go to school. We live about, I don't know, like 45 minutes from old Miss. Not very far. So I find that kind of stuff often. Okay, my neighbor that just had the baby, she's a nurse. I do not know what size scrub she wears, honestly. But these feel super nice. And it's a shirt and a pants. So I'm just going to get it for her. And if you know, she can't use it. I'm sure she knows somebody else that um, will. Here's some cute Madewell jeans. They're one size bigger than I normally wear, but I figured, again, everything's so cheap. I'm going to bring them home and see if they fit me. Okay, y'all, how precious is this? It's like a little cropped pink jacket in Wren size. Is that the only thing I got for Wren? That's really weird. Usually I find more stuff for her or Ryan. Girl stuff is easy to find here. Boy stuff is super hard, especially for whaling because I just feel like at that age, they are so hard on their clothes. So I think shoes are two or three dollars here. Clothes is paid by the pound. And then all of these, uh, oh, I did get this stuff for Ren. Two little stuffed animals because they didn't have any toys today. Usually I pick something up for her, but that's the only thing that I could find that I thought she might like. And then all of this other stuff is just, I don't know, it kind of just goes by the cashier what they think. It might be 25 cents, it might be 10 cents, it might be a dollar. It's so cheap, I honestly don't even worry about it. Okay, clothes is $1.95 per pound. That's what the sign says. So I think I'm gonna head out because like I said, they've been rolling out new bins, but it's just all clothing. Um, so I'm gonna head out. So I hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure at the Goodwill Bins. I am very happy with my finds. I don't have a cart load, but that is cool. Um, so y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next thrifting adventure.